second part is the zone setting. And now this is the most important part because we will draw it one by one as we did in the, our uh, presentation. So first I will add a new zone, as you can see. And this zone, I will rename it to be zone one. And you can add it, uh, you can uh, uh, edit this label, as you can see. And here you will find, uh, you have to define the type of this zone one. We have different types of zones. Uh, tripping zone, which is uh, zone one and zone two and zone three. So you expected a trip time when you inject in this ambience frame. Okay. We have another type of tripping uh, of the zones, which is a starting zone, such as a uh, face selection in the relay. It's only starting zone. It's not not tripping. If you inject in this zone, you will get a backup signal, but there is no tripping because it's used for other purposes, such as also uh, extended zone, for example, for switch on fault with a manual close command. So uh, this uh, starting zone. There is no any expected tripping at that case. So if you are uh, simulating a face selection, for example, you have to select the type to be starting zone, not tripping zone. The third type is the extended zone, which is occasionally be activated depends on some events. For example, if we are testing a switch on default, and we have Z1B to activate this switch on default, and this Z1B will be activated by the manual close command. Otherwise, it will not be activated. So it's occasionally activated. So you can use it as extended. Okay. The other, uh, the fourth one, which is non-tripping, like the load encroachment. There is no tripping and no starting. It's non-direction, okay? So this is the fourth time. And then you have to select the fault loop. And make sure if you have a different reach for the resistive and the reactive reach for, from the line to ground to the line to line, you have here to select line to ears, and then you draw the line to ears individually, and then you can draw also the line to line. But hence, we are having the same result, the same R reach and the same X reach in line to line and the line to ground, so no need to do a segregate. You can make it for all fault loop, which is, so it will work for all fault loop. How do you make sure about this? I have to make all fault loop or make two duplicate, one for line to ground and one for line to line. If you're checking the, uh, the setting here in the relay, for example, the uh, zone one, as you can see here, the zone one resistance for face to face fault is 2.9, and the resistance for face to air fault is 2.9, so there is no difference. So the same resistive reach, the same reactive reach, so there is no need to duplicate and make one zone for line to ground and the other zone for line to line, as you see in our presentation, which is represented by the dotted line and the solid line. Okay? Okay? This is the main difference. So you can make sure if you have this uh, line to ground is more than line to line, so you should make one zone for line to line with special coordinates for, for sure, and one zone for line to ground with a special coordinates based on the city. Okay? If you are the if you have the same resistive reach and the same reactive uh, reactive reach, so there is no need, you can add one for all four loops. So after I add the first zone, I have to draw it line by line, as you can, as you see in our presentation. So I will press edit. After pressing edit, I will choose the general shape from here. It's a quadrature or moho or uh, elliptic or uh, tomato, tomato shape. So now we are talking about the quadrature shape for the Siemens 7 SA. So I will choose the quadrature. After I choose the quadrature, give me four line, but I have four five line, not four, not four line. So I can add one more line from here, from the element. I will choose add one more line. But make sure and take care, this is the fifth line is added in line Buller, not line Cartesian for as the same as the fourth line. So I will uh, change this one, which is uh, to be line uh, Cartesian. So represented in R and X and angle. And this is the way we identify each line in our presentation. So you can also define the line by the line Buller. It will give you the absolute value of the impedance and the phi based on the R and the X values. Okay, so to make it easy for you, just make it Cartesian, and we will represent the line by R and the X and the line angle. So for example, if you remember from our uh, characteristic, we started with line one, then two, three, four, five. You can start with any line, but you have to follow the direction of rotation. So to make it easy, we, we will, let us start with the line one. So the line one, the coordinates was two X is zero, and the angle, I will write it minus 22 or 338. So I will write it minus 22. So this is the first line, okay? Now it's getting blue. The second line, which is this one, is intersect with R at 2.9, X is 0, and the angle is the line angle, which is 64. So this is now the line 2. And as you can see, the intersection here, if you see the uh, R uh, axis, it corresponds to 2.9. Okay. okay? Then the line 3, what is the coordinates of the line 3? You didn't remember. 6. 6 ohm. No problem, just you get the, 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 the concept. No problem about the values, because these values can be changed. And the angle is 180. So I will keep it like this. So it's, it's uh, intersect with x at 6 ohm and with angle 180 degree. So the line 4, line 4 will intersect with minus r. Minus r, yes. And r here is 2.9. So this one will be minus 2.9. The x is 0 and the angle is plus 64, so 244. 
245. 180 plus? The last line angle. The last 64. Oh, yes, 0, 0, and the angle is? Here is the quadrature, as you can see now. I think it's now it's clear for all of you. This is, we complete the five lines, so we have the quadrature of the zone one. Okay? Then I will press OK. Here I have to configure the trip time of the zone one. So the zone one should be instantaneous. But because I have the minimum trip time for the protection delay, suppose it's 25 milliseconds or 30 milliseconds, I will put it 30 milliseconds. Okay? So the zone one now is trip time is 30 milliseconds because of the minimum trip time. Because it's no way to getting zero. There is a minimum trip time. Okay? Then, this is the zone one. And here you have to define the tolerance of the uh, impedance in relative and in absolute. So let us make it 5 percentage and 50 milli ohm. Okay? This is the zone one. I need to duplicate and draw the zone two. No need to start from scratch. You can take copy from zone one. And then you can press paste. So I will make this one three just to change to this one to zone two and I will return it back to zone one. So this zone one is done. Zone two, I will define here that trip time for the zone two. Zone two, it's 400 millisecond. So if we add 30 millisecond, it will be 430 millisecond. And we can define the tolerance uh, of the impedance in relative and in absolute values. Okay, but now I need to change the coordinates for zone two because the R and the X is having more uh, uh, values because this cover is 120 percentage from the line length. So I will uh, press edit for the zone two. I will keep the directionality for the zone one the same, just I will change the R and the X axis. If we return back to the values here, so the R for the zone two is 4.4, the X is 6.2. For the zone two, 4.4 and 6.2. So just I will change these values. So for 2.9, I will change to 4.4, and the X will be 9.2, and minus R also it will be minus 4.4, and that's it. Then press OK. Now you have zone 1, and you have zone 2. Clear? You can do the same for zone 3, but with another, with more values like... Uh, for the R and the X values, okay. the decisive and the reactance each. Yeah, the, the reverse, it will draw by the same. And after you finish, you have to, uh, or you can define it also one by one, like uh, one point and angle in the same way. Okay? So you can invert all, or you can draw it one by one. Now I will add the zone three. So I will take copy for zone two. Then I will press paste. So now this is the zone three. Zone three is 800 millisecond time delay, so I will add it 830 millisecond. Then I will press edit, and I will change the R and the X values based on our example here, 5.4 and 11.2. And here is the 6.2, not 9.2. I'll make it by mistake. So this 5.4, this R reach, this value is 11.2, and this is minus 5.4. So now we have zone one, zone two, zone three. Okay, clear? After you finish this zone setting, you will just press OK. Then press OK. This is the first part, which is this object part.